The reason why I'm here is because Salem is much like my town, Halloween town. I love it here. It's spooky from October 21st through the 31st. Why? Because we celebrate Halloween for that period of time. And it's amazing. Now what we're going to do is travel on a journey down to all of the historic sites and some of the spooky places that you'll find during haunted happenings. <laughs> Hello, my name is Ellen D. Geronimo, and I'm the Executive Director of the Salem Chamber of Commerce. And joining me is Peter LaChapelle, the Chief of, Chief of Visitor Service, Services at the Salem Maritime National Historic Site. And Peter and I are going to tell you a little story about haunted happenings. And it's appropriate that Peter, representing the historic site, will focus on the early history of haunted happenings. Peter, unfortunately, I just had the opportunity to join all of you four years ago, and I would be just delighted if you'd share with our audience and our listeners how it all began. Okay, Ellen, it uh, started, I, if I remember right, 12 years ago, and uh, it was an idea um, that was kind of uh, evolved from prolonging the season, the tourism season, and what happened is the people from the Salem Witch Museum um, Susanna and uh, Joan from the Chamber of Commerce got together and they thought of an idea for an event and they felt it would kind of stretch us into October and then make an event out of Halloween because Halloween has never really been celebrated as an event in any other community. So they put together the first haunted happenings and uh, we found that um, after the three days everyone sat down and said geez Maybe we can stretch it out for a week, and um, this year we're going to be doing it for 10 days. So uh, it's kind of interesting how it keeps evolving and, and taking on new forms, and the crowds just seem to keep be coming in more and more. And um, this year um, we're going to have an added feature. We've got our new visitor center open uh, in downtown Salem to greet all the incoming visitors and residents, and uh, it's a regional visitor center. And it's going to be a whole new feature that will add to the visit, as well as the film that we have uh, shown in the Visitor Center daily, uh, which is 28 minutes in length on the history of Essex County. And uh, for our end of it, um, we, we do a, a treasure hunt with Captain Barlow at the site on the waterfront with uh, our captain has been, over the years, Hazel Tremblay, and uh, takes the kids on quite a walk. Uh, throughout the site and uh, finding some maritime history as they move along and then in addition to that we'll be serving the the visitor with our visitor services operation at the visitor center and we'll be extending the hours for the operation of the visitor center and um, how it really works for the visitor when they come in to the center there's three themes early settlement which the witchcraft hysteria fits into uh, the 17th century into the maritime history, the 18th century and the 19th century on with the industrial history. And the film also pertains to that, uh, where past is present is the name of the film produced by Northern Lights, which just premiered on uh, June 25th. And that will take the person right through the entire span of history, really from the Native Americans through the 17th, 18th, 19th century into present day history. And it's quite a dynamic presentation. So everyone that comes can take advantage of all this and it, it won't cost them a dime with us at the park. Well, we're delighted that uh, the new visitor center is open for any number of reasons, but it will just be such a wonderfully welcoming location for the visitors who come. And I would like to compliment you and the staff of the visitor center because indeed visitor service really is your hallmark. and. Uh, it will make life very, very uh, comforting for lots of people right. because of what you have to offer. Uh, I'm delighted that you mentioned uh, what, the, what the Park Service does as part of Haunted Happenings. Uh, what I find so extraordinary is that the institutions that are primarily known for uh, preserving history have been able to find a way to become part of Haunted Happenings. and. Uh, 
you know, you can go down to the House of Seven Gables and meet the spirits of the That's Seven right. Gables, meet Nathaniel and Sapphire, and they come to light with uh, a candlelight walk. And then at the Peabody Essex Museum, uh, there are special events planned, but they've been able to uh, include eerie events as part of their candlelight walking tour, and people tour the wonderfully restored uh, historic homes that people come all year to look at, but at this time of year, they have the added opportunity to walk through by candlelight and hear the eerie tales of Essex County, which of course ties into your film and, and to your visitor center, which covers the entire area. Mm -hmm. And um, it's just really uh, wonderful to be able to observe and to be part of something that started, as you uh, appropriately recall, the idea of two, that two women had uh, 12 years ago to expand the tourism season and to focus on, on a, um, a holiday that most people didn't celebrate. For most people, Halloween was, you know, gathering candy for the young children who come to the door and getting your kids ready and all that. But in Salem, it's very different. And there's, there is something very magical about what happens in Salem. Of course, all of our attractions um, that are open all year long, the, the Salem Witch Museum, the Salem Wax Museum of Witches and Seafarers, the Witch Dungeon, and the Witch House all get into the spirit of this and um, provide, you know, an added attraction uh, for, for, the, for our visitors who are here at, at this particular time. It's also very interesting. Um, there really is a place for everything in Haunted Happenings. Uh, you have, it's, it's wonderful for our accommodations because people come and they stay overnight and they extend their visit. It's wonderful for our restaurants. They're on the, you know, they're on the walk as you go along. Mm -hmm. uh, but I find it uh, interesting that many churches and nonprofit organizations have found a way to plan fairs and church bazaars and lobster lunch, lobster roll luncheons and all the wonderful, wonderfully creative things that people do. Um, I understand that 12 years ago, the haunted house was upstairs in Old Town Hall. And sometimes I think about that would be all I would need today is to have a haunted <laughs> house upstairs. Mm. And then that it moved to Pickering Wharf and then later to true. the Common. And when I came four years ago, that was the place of the Chamber's haunted house. Well, this year, the haunted house is getting closer to Old Town Hall. And we're delighted that Jack Skellington could join us today because he's going to tell us about the newest haunted house and about the other three haunted houses that people can enjoy by purchasing a terror ticket. And Jack, if you'd step forward and give us a little insight into this new adventure. Oh, me, sure. The haunted mansion, is that what you're talking about? Because it's not a house anymore, it's so huge. It's a mansion, really. Real spooky place. That's why I'm here. I'm from a Halloween town and I thought, hey, Salem is like a Halloween town, so why not have me come over? <laughs> and I'm happy to be the host of the Haunted Mansion. What was your question? <laughs> well, I just thought it would be nice if you would tell everyone about not only the Haunted Mansion, but the other two haunted attractions here in Salem that come forward for this particular time of year. I see. Well, I'm going to do the best I can. No doubt. You see, the uh, three haunted houses that are in Salem are as follows. One, the Haunted Mansion, which is classic haunted house, where you go through all sorts of passageways. There's a secret passage, but it wouldn't be a secret if I told you. <laughs> and spooks and specters. People look a lot like this. Then there's Captain Scurvy's Haunted Cavern, and that's pirates Arr, talking like this. You can't understand what they say half the time. And that's filled with cavernous creatures and creepy crawlies. And then there's the home of the original Batman, Dracula's Casino. Is he around? Because he hates it when I imitate him. No? <laughs> well, Dracula's Castle, owned by James Durante, is a horror show inside with dripping blood, and I hear there's a doctor in there if you don't have one of your own. And those are the three haunted houses. Now, they're all tied in together by the terror mm. ticket. <laughs> the terror ticket lets you get into three haunted houses. 
for one price. And it's discounted so that the adults and children can go through all of these haunted houses. And the best thing about it is that they can go from one area in Salem, travel along like little tourists, till they get to the other haunted house, then travel along like little tourists until they get to the third one. So not only does it take them through Salem, but it also uh, brings them to all the different places like the Marketplace, and of course downtown Essex Street, and Pickering Wharf. So it's a great place for tourists to travel around and visit Salem while getting spooked! <laughs> so that's the terror ticket, sweetheart. Oh, you've done a beautiful job. I know. Jack. Oh, I am so happy that you decided to, to come to Salem. Yes, I could have just died when I heard. <laughs> That's a joke. <laughs> died. Peter, why don't you yes, share with us some yeah. of the observations that our visitors have when they come here? I imagine that you have many stories to tell, but there must be some uh, tucked back in your mind that you'd like to share about people's observation at this time of year. Well, it's uh, it's an incredible time for us. Um, the the park staff is is totally geared up for this. I, I think one story would probably not do it all justice because there's so many others to be talked about. Um, during this period, um, this 10-day period, we're doing anywhere from through the visitor center from two to four thousand people a day. So the stories, the uh, the the different angles to the whole visit by all these people are all quite exciting because it, it is just um, an interesting time of year, <laughs> if you will. So um, as you talked earlier, Ellen, though, this is a, is a wonderful time and an opportunity for, for people who would not normally come to our city to see everything that we have in the city. And they're always, when they come, they're always amazed what's, what's in the city and what's available for them to come back to. You know, people can get information uh, about haunted happenings. We're at a point at the chamber where we're answering the phones sometimes. This is uh, Halloween Central, but there are some numbers that people can jot down so that they can get more information and uh, be able to uh, receive one of our haunted happenings brochures. What are those numbers? It's not my house, is it? <laughs> we don't. Oh, there it is. We don't have your ring yet. My <laughs> ring. Your ring. <laughs> my ring. Is there something I don't know? I don't know. Well, we'll, we'll tell you about it a little later, Jack. I, I want to point out, Ellen, that the interesting point you brought up is that haunted happenings uh, is not just the haunted houses, of course, and what Peter talked about by the history of Salem. But it's also uh, all the festivals that happen. There's the witches' ball. Oh, absolutely. And there's the uh, costume ball. The boys and girls club got together, and they got a spooky haunted house. Actually, some of my cousins are working there. <laughs> and uh, also, there, there's just all sorts of pumpkin carving contests, and there's a, there's a little parade for kids. You know, they can parade. All dressed as me, of course. Oh, we, I think we really need to talk about that parade. Oh, can we? I think it has become a premiere, don't you, Jack? I do. Well, you'll find out. You weren't here before. No, I heard that Beetlejuice was there before. Beetlejuice. You ever see him take off his head? Real nasty. No, I, I've missed that. <laughs> and Captain Scurvy. Do you know him? That Captain Scurvy's I on the cabin. I saw him last year. He's a great guy. Yes. He's got an earring, yeah. though. Well, the city's Market and Tourist, Tourism Commission um, is the coordinator for the children's costume parade. Ah. And uh, Marie Whittemore is the chairperson, and Marie has been so busy gathering her committee and um, volunteers to be prepared for all the youngsters that will, who will be coming to parade. And I think the most exciting part about the children's costume parade is that people in Salem really think it's for them. You know, we've talked a lot about tourists, and of course it's very important for tourists to come to Salem because tourism is part of our economy. But a celebration like Haunted Happenings is really for the community as well. I agree. And the costume parade is really and truly a highlight. Um, I would invite everyone to participate um, as a viewer, if um, you know, as well as dressing up their children and their grandchildren to be part of it. Uh, it takes place a week from tomorrow on the 22nd of September, which is also the day of the Bazaar Bazaar. Oh. And I want you to be on your best behavior for the Bazaar Bazaar. Well. Jack, don't, don't forget about that. All right, I'll try. We will have lots of crafters 
and people coming to enjoy the Essex Street Mall, and you, of course, are going to be right in the middle of that. Can, can we bring snakes and bats and rats? I don't. Things like that? I really don't think so. I don't think we need them. No? I no. do want to point out, Ellen, that dressing in costume is a wonderful thing to do. It's well, like a mini Mardi Gras here in Salem, what I heard. It really is. There are many people who come in costume, and uh, of course, as you get closer to Halloween itself, it's very difficult to get around the streets, and uh, you're always having an opportunity to bump into some historic character or some creature that you may have seen in your past. And oh, great! They're there in full view. Uh, Next door neighbors, maybe? Perhaps. <laughs> One just, just never knows. I'm glad you brought up about the costume parties and the witches' balls and all of the festivities that are really a major part of this event. As I said earlier, the institutions and the attractions are very much a part of Haunted Happenings. The, the restaurants and other businesses create, op create opportunities to really make uh, a wonderful experience or to create a wonderful experience for our visitors. That's a good point, Ellen, because the uh, terror ticket, the trail of the terror ticket, takes people along the path of these people you're speaking of, and they've decorated their storefronts to look like a horror show. And it's really nice to see floating pumpkins and horrible vampires trying to kill you as you get coffee or a souvenir. No pictures of me, of course, not yet. But we're working on it. That will come. <laughs> I, have, I have a feeling that many people are going to go away with, with pictures of themselves snuggled under your arm. I think Jack. that a lot of people are going to go away like this. Oh! But that's just my opinion. Well, you work very hard to be to ensure that they do. <laughs> well, anyway, we're inviting everyone to join us uh, at any time from October 21st to October 31st for Haunted Happenings in Salem. And as I mentioned earlier, <laughs> we do have information available. We have a wonderful brochure, and people can call. The, uh, the numbers that um, will I respond to those requests and get their information. I would just like to also tell, um, tell, tell you that there are many businesses that support this effort uh, as well as, as people. Uh, Jim Durati is the chairperson. He owns Dracula's Castle. Oh, thank you for that commercial. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jim is the chairperson for this year's Haunted Happenings. And um, as they have for many years, McDougall Associates have once again come forward and, and uh, been a great help. They created the original Haunted Happenings logo and stopped by for a spell, which of course is, is part and parcel to Haunted Happenings. This year they created a 30-second video, and we're very grateful to Salem Access TV for helping us get that video out to other cable stations. It's a good video. Couldn't let my kids watch it. It was too spooky. Oh, well, Jack. Then again, I don't have any kids. Well, <laughs> we're happy to know that you would be sensitive if you did. And, of course, Lavender Printing helped us enormously with the printing of the, uh, the Haunted Happenings brochure with a contribution from the Office of, Tra of Tourism and Cultural Affairs. Minute Print and Phelan Design have created and produced the... Um, posters that, that people love to have. You know, they seem to disappear. They're in windows. Take them home up, as a souvenir. And then they, then they take them home. <laughs> and, Peter uh, has one. Mm -hmm. we're, we're, very, we're very grateful to this support. Uh, Haunted Happenings really is, is a collective e effort, and there's a place for everyone in, in the uh, development of it. And it's, <laughs> That's so sad. Keep going, though. You're doing a good mm -hmm. job. I think it's wonderful. Mm -hmm. I have to disagree Very with sentimental. You. It is sentimental, but it isn't sad. It does bring the entire city of Salem uh, together, I think. Absolutely. Just my first year here, I can see that. You are just going to be amazed as you walk you around. You will be amazed. I'm <laughs> amazed right now sitting here. <laughs> <laughs> well, Peter, um, do you have any suggestions to both Jack and I about you know, how we can store up our energy so that we'll be prepared for all the visitors? Well, I, I, all i got to say is just get ready, and here, the, here they come. and. Um, both the visitors and the residents um, always have a wonderful time and it's just a, it, the thing that always amazes me is the energy, the energy for this event and uh, it really is a, the prelude to the, to the, uh, 
the beginning of the the end of the season, if you will, and uh, it's um, it's just a great time. And um, <clears throat> I encourage everyone and, and residents, as you as you spoke, all these events are are open for them also, and it, it's a wonderful opportunity to bring the families out and friends and and just um, enjoy the uh, enjoy the festivities. Well, one one of the opportunities that people really um, I hope will take advantage of is. Everyone has concerns, daily concerns, and concerns about the world. And I think that Haunted Happenings is an opportunity for everyone to sort of throw off those concerns for a few minutes, get into some outrageous costume, do their thing. You know, uh, there's, there's a child in all of us, and it would really? be wonderful to just be able to come along down and, and, and join in the festivities. Uh, it doesn't cost anything to just gather with the crowds and walk That's around right. and observe and enjoy what other people are creating. And um, as the executive director of the chamber, I think it's very important to extend my gratitude to so many people who participate as volunteers and uh, with their, their creative services. And um, without all of that good spirit and generosity, uh, haunted happenings wouldn't be as wonderful as, wonderful as it is. And uh, Peter, I'm, I'm sure you'd like to add something to that. It, it's true. Every year it, it's um, a wonderful effort by the community, um, both the historic community and the, uh, and the community, um, the business community. And I think it's just a wonderful um, building block every year that we seem to build on every other year and uh, make better. It's just an incredible uh, effort. And uh, I enjoy being part of it every year. Well, we're very grateful to uh, the two women, Joan Gomley and Susanna Stewart, whose creative idea, idea has developed into this wonderful celebration. And I know that in the future, uh, there'll be more ideas and more creative ideas that will make it just bigger and better. And um, Eric, I'm certainly going to look forward to um, introducing you to this listening audience. <laughs> Everyone, this is Eric Rodenheiser. And Eric is our homegrown, creative, talented Salemite. <laughs> And we're very happy, Eric, that you're here with us. We, we loved having you bring uh, Jack to our, to our little gathering this afternoon. But we also think it's important that everyone has an opportunity to know who Eric Rodenheiser is. Uh, Eric has played many roles in the celebration of Haunted Happenings. And Eric, perhaps you'd like to share your, your own real thoughts. Sure, sure. You have uh, something in your, on your head. Helen, I don't know if you're aware of that. <laughs> I'm getting ready. Oh, I guess. <laughs> uh, for me, Halloween, I started um, maybe five years ago. And uh, I, I saw the haunted house that you guys had at the Salem Chamber. And I thought, wow, all these people are coming in. Let's, let's give them another haunted house. So I approached uh, Jim Durati. And actually, uh, another gentleman uh, approached me as well, uh, David Butler. And they said, hey, we hear that you do haunted houses. I had been uh, doing haunted houses for the uh, boys club. So we created Dracula's Castle, and we, we had no idea it would be so successful. And then all of a sudden I thought to myself, well, if there's one, why not create another? And I said, uh, something different. So Captain Scurvy's Haunted Cavern came along. And now here I am once again uh, with another one, and we've joined forces, the chamber and myself, and we have a great haunted house. Mansion, actually. actually. Mansion. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Got to do something about that overbite there. The mansion. <laughs> <laughs> but the, the thing I like about Halloween is that uh, it, anybody can do anything while they while they're here. Anything. anything? Really? Yes. Anything. anything. Do you know? Do you know Dracula at all? No. Good. Maybe you guys should go out for a bite. <laughs> uh, Halloween people can dress up. It's true and do whatever they want. And it's uh, when I wasn't doing the haunted houses, I was just out on the street dressed as you know Beetlejuice or somebody like that, and it's just. Nobody looks at you funny. They don't, you know, go, what is this weirdo doing? They, they just enjoy it. It's, it's just like a Mardi Gras, like if you go down to New Orleans, except it's uh, uh, Halloween-based. And it's not just, it's not the religion thing. People come for the religion aspects, the witches. Um, 
people come just to have fun. People come to learn about Halloween and, and exactly what it's all about and stuff. And I think it just brings a lot of people to Salem. I, I mean, thousands of people go through the haunted houses alone. And I, I think that's what they're looking for. They want history with the witches and uh, they also want to be scared. So we offer this terror ticket in the haunted houses and I think it really works out. It's very successful. Well, we're awfully happy that you chose to team up with the Salem Chamber of Commerce for a, a totally new haunted experience. And uh, we're very proud of the product that you've developed, Peter. Yes, Ellen. <laughs> oh, I hope you, you waltz down the Essex Street Mall with me Halloween night. We will. You guys would make a lovely Wouldn't that couple, be fun? I think. Thank Wouldn't you. Wouldn't that be great fun? Thank you. Just a... Okay. <laughs> we'll do that. <laughs> All right. Well, in closing, um, probably each of you would like to just give some sort of a little message to uh, the folks that we're inviting to join us between October 21st and October 31st. And I'll begin with you, Eric. Oh, me? Sure. Uh, don't come. It's too scary. No, I, it's a great adventure for everybody. And I think uh, if you miss out on haunted happenings, uh, you miss out on a great deal. And it's fun for everyone. So whoever... Whoever doesn't go to Haunted Happenings is busy watching a rerun of All My Children or some ridiculous thing. Get off your butt and go to Haunted Happenings. It's for everyone, adults, kids, just everyone. Peter. And for everyone to uh, share in that energy, it's, it's a wonderful time of year. It's the, uh, the beginning or the mid part of the fall season, and um, it's just a, a wonderful time to get out and enjoy the rest of the, the good weather. Uh, come to the new visitor center, which is your visitor center. See what we have done. Uh, it's a tremendous facility. It covers all of Essex County's history. It's uh, it's spectacular, and um, it's there for your enjoyment as well as the park. And we're there to preserve and to educate the public. And we just love doing it. So let us do it. Well, thank you both very much for joining me. And. It's my pleasure to invite everyone to come to Salem for Haunted Happenings oh. and to enjoy all the fun. Oh, oh, and oh, oh. truly, there is, there is something for everyone. There, there are activities for the, fam for the family, for those who want to come and dress up, for those who would like to visit haunted places, uh, for those who would like to dance at the balls. There's, there's just something for everyone. And uh, we'll look forward to seeing you. And again, uh, if you'd like further information about Haunted Happenings, uh, Salem Access TV is gracious and we'll have the numbers available for you. And uh, just come and have a haunting good time with, with the community of Salem. <laughs>